Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. I'm Dom. And I'm with Standing and welcome to today's Skyrim Mod Spotlight. Today we'll be featuring three mods, and to start us off we have the Alduin's Wing mod. The only way to get the wings is to craft them, so head to any forge and look under the dragon category. There are two versions of the wings, light and heavy. The only difference between the two is the armor rating. The heavy one has 13 and the light has 9. Both weigh 5 so the only advantage to wearing the light version is if your light armor perk tree is of a higher level. Both of the wings take a mixture of leather strips, leather, dragon bone and dragon scales to craft, and you'll need one dragon bone and one dragon scale to upgrade them. The wings are completely standalone and use copies of the texture used on Alduin's wings, so the original wings won't be changed in game. They can both be enchanted to add whatever stats suit you, and in the video you can see them being worn with the ebony armor set first and the daedric armor set second. We prefer them with the daedric armor as the outfit has a slightly darker feel to it. Next up we have the Undercity, an entirely new city located deep underground. The city's above ground entrance can be found to the west of Whiterun, and it looks like a normal cave entrance but with a red flag waving on top. The city itself is huge with over 30 different houses and rooms, however the city was mainly designed as a merchant city. There's a total of 11 different merchants, all selling items from their own speciality. For example the merchant Tools or War sells weapons and armour. The merchants in the city will also be carrying more gold than usual merchants, but not too much to be law breaking. However the creator also hints that merchants may be hiding unique items in their home. The Undercity also includes several different structures, including a library, two training rooms, a mine, a fountain and a prison, which will be sent to you if you get caught committing a crime by one of the Undercity's guards. There are plenty of other NPCs hanging around too, but right now they're mostly there for show until the creator assigns them a quest, which he plans to do in later updates. For such a large scale mod to be made by a single person, the mod is very clean and feels like an altogether well made mod that we definitely recommend if you want a new place to explore or a new city to live in. Finally we'll leave you with a small mod that makes a change to the sitting animation of women in Skyrim. The original sitting animation is somewhat manly and the aim of this mod is to fix that problem. As you can see, the one on the left is the new animation and the one on the right is the vanilla version. The change in animation can be hard to see if you're wearing loose fitting clothes like the Mythic Dawn robes. But as you can see there's a noticeable difference when your character isn't wearing any armour. It's a great addition to Skyrim and it helps achieve a higher level of realism in game. And that's it for today's episode. Over the next few hours we'll be keeping our eyes on the comments for suggestions for tomorrow's spotlight. Thanks for watching.